everyone, welcome to Five on Fry with AJ Fry. That's me. What is Five on Fry? Well, it's basically me talking about five different things in five minutes or less. On this first episode, those five things will be a game that I'm obsessed with, a prequel to a movie that I absolutely love, and the first in our ongoing series, Canadian Cosplay Cuties. But let's begin with our first topic, Canada Day. Oh, Canada. I'm conflicted about Canada Day because part of me is a really patriotic person. I love Canada. I love the people of Canada. I love our freedoms, our health care, equality, all the things that make Canada great. And on the other hand, I don't believe in patriotism. I think that we really need to grow up and realize that we're one race, one species, and that we should try to abolish the borders and things that divide us. So I'm conflicted. I like celebrating Canada Day. Um, it's a fun excuse to get together with your friends, have a barbecue, and just spend some quality time with the people that you love. But on the other hand, this whole idea of celebrating the things that divide us, I just... It doesn't jive with me. I don't know, what do you think? Is there a way that we could transition Canada Day from being something that's kind of in that old school mentality of, you know, colonialism, conquest, our country versus you guys, into something that's a little bit more welcoming, celebratory. Canadian. All right, topic number two. I'm super excited about this. The prequel movie to Wet Hot American Summer has a new trailer. Obviously, you've got David Wayne, Michael Showalter, and Michael Ian Black coming back, along with so many other stars. Paul Rudd, Elizabeth Banks, Bradley Cooper, Amy Poehler. And I was a little bit worried because at first they didn't mention David Hyde Pierce, who I thought was like one of the big roles in the film, but he's in there as well. Molly Shannon. I mean, the list goes on and on. If you have not seen the original Wet Hot American Summer, do yourself a favor. It's a fantastic film that really um, takes all of the tropes of your typical high school summer camp film and puts them on their head. Brilliant stuff. I can't really get away with mentioning something that's headed to Netflix without reminding you that it's important to keep your cable subscription to support people like me on Space Jam. Um, and awesome series that are now on Space Channel. If you haven't done yourself the favor, you need to check out Killjoys and Dark Matter. They're both on Friday nights on Space in Canada, and they're awesome, great new sci-fi. Yay! Okay, on to movies. Batman v Superman. We're finally getting some pics of Batman and Superman, and it looks like they're going to make out. That would be... <laughs> that would actually be pretty awesome. <laughs> Batman versus Superman in the most epic makeup battle ever. And marriage equality just passed in the States, right? So who knows? Maybe Batman and Superman find that kind of special connection. I don't know how I feel about this one. I could not watch Man of Steel. I am still a Zack Snyder apologist. I absolutely love what he did with Watchmen, and I love 300. I just... Man of Steel, man. Ugh. I'm still very optimistic about Batfleck. I think Ben Affleck will do a good job as Batman. Next up, the game Destiny that I have been playing far too much of, according to my fiance. Anyway, there's a character in the game. It's called Ghost. Thanks for this, Morgan, by the way, who gave it to me at Calgary Expo. Anyway, Ghost here is voiced by Peter Dinklage, and he delivers a very boring, monotone read. And uh, it turns out, uh, in an interview this week, one of my favorite comedians, David Cross, revealed that he and Brian Posehn, another awesome comic, went to Bungie, the developer's studios, to punch up the dialogue for Ghost. So Peter Dinklage might actually have something interesting or funny to say, and they didn't use anything that he wrote. Now, it doesn't matter to me too much, because I don't actually bother with much of the single-player storyline where you would actually hear Ghost. I tend to stick to the competitive multiplayer, and in fact, we'll probably go and play some Iron Banner as soon as I've uploaded this to YouTube. I just don't understand how Bungie could have David Cross come in and not use any of his jokes and then give us a game where the main character who talks to you the whole time is boring. All right, time to introduce you to our Canadian cosplay QE. Her cosplay name is Kadrell, and uh, we have been friends since high school. I think we met when I was in grade 11. Uh, up on screen, you got a bunch of awesome photos of her in her various costumes, but the one I'm most excited about is actually her Destiny cosplay, because as you can see, her character looks an awful lot like my level 33 Hunter, who hopefully, not long after this video is posted, will become level 34 if I do pretty well in the Iron Banner. Awesome work, and I especially like the fact that not all of her costumes are super sexualized. Anyway, you can check out Kadrell on her Facebook page. Hopefully I'm saying her name right. That's it, that's the show. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next Friday from San Diego Comic-Con.